today's video, I want to discuss about the regular IC that I have lying around, which is um, this. This is the SI4825 E10 Silicon Lab IC. This is an awesome IC that you can use for radio receiver um, something like EM SW FM it was great and um, perfect when it comes to radio reception and it does not require um, all these huge and complicated external component below distortion I think the distortion now rated um, below 1% and it's also an SMD um, one thing about SMD device is that they consume less space so the IC have two advantages an SMD device meaning it consumes less space and the whole circuit diagram will not be like huge, you know, kind of bulky. Just a simple IC that you can use as a radio receiver and it does not have to be a typical circuit diagram for the SIM for it to be a one IC. Then this IC to turn on the frequency that is available for this IC. The IC have a multiple choice of hand selector. But I selected out of the four, out of all the 18 guys because it helped by not using So out of that up to 18 guys, we shot this four band for the IC. It is used to SW2, SW1, AM, and FM. If you do not know what SW means, it means shot with. I'm going to explain everything here. I'm going to start with the band. So, the voltage divider circuit across a 500 kV in total. I can use it to select the band according to the IC schematic. So, and I use 123 kV, 80 kV, 70, 160 kV, and 67 kV. This resistor sum up to up to 500 kV and tapping out um, voltage from one of the pins, you can select the band and the the IC come with SW narrow and wide. So by connecting 10 kV to the BCC to the P1 of the IC, we can select SW So I use SW But what I did is this there is switch here which you can see. So this switch can be only be turned on when the band selector is at SW band, that is SW1 and SW2. So I, I build it by connecting the circuit, the switch for this band selector switch which uses a voltage divider to select the specific band that you want to be tuned into then the, this switch will be toggled on whenever the SW1 whenever this PO4 is connected to SW1 or SW2 because I synchronize it with SW1 and SW2 so here is the band selector then we go on to the tuner the tuner will just use 100 kilo ohms resistor, a variable resistor. So by changing, by tuning the potentiometer, the potentiometer is connected to 100 kilo ohm resistor to ground, then to the pin two, and also to the pin two for the band selector. From my measurements, I measure that one volt that comes out from this pin two, and this one volt is like the IC regulate voltage for the band selector and the tuner. So by turning turning this potentiometer, you can turn add frequency you can you want. And this hundred volt is used to okay, remove short circuit from the tuner. And we have a filter capacitor that filters this regulated voltage and make it even more stable. Then pin four is the band selector pin, which will be connected either either of these connectors using a switch. And remember that I said that. Whenever the, this PF4 is connected either to the SW1 or SW2, then I make it to psych with this switch so that whenever I'm using SW, that is, I'm not working on AM or FM, whenever I'm using the SW, uh, the, this switch will be turned on. I do this in order to reduce power losses and all that. So, so the pin, pin 4 is the band selector which is used to select the band that you want to use. The 5 obviously have to be left floating. It is not meant to connect to anywhere, anywhere at all. So the PC is the FM radio signal in for the antenna. P4 
Pin7 is the reference ground. As you are watching this video, please do well to like, subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel. It's not gonna cost you anything, but it really helps the channel to grow and um, for me to bring you more videos like this the next time. Um, if you have any question, you can comment, then I will address it. Then. For the reception, and then we go to the A8, which is the AM reception. And you know that SW is also amplitude modulated signal, but have a higher frequency than AM radio. So, this is where the AM radio and the SW radio is being received from. So, this is the circuit that you will use to amplify the SW radio wave, and this is the AM antenna. It's, a, it's kind of like inductor. It's an inductor which will be connected to ground to the tray. 40, 470 nanofarad capacitor to the pin 8. Then whenever the the level pin is on, it turns on on the transistor. So the the, the, the current will flow through the enable pin. The IC is built whenever the IC is on SW mode. It releases current through the pin 1, which will be connected to the which will be connected through a 120 kilo resistor to the base of this transistor to turn it on so that the transistor will be working as an amplifier, a high frequency amplifier for SW radio reception and this is the circuit diagram so these two resistors, this 120 kilo ohm resistor and the 100 kilo ohm resistor provide a voltage divider from the Q1 which will be used to turn on the transistor for the SW radio reception this is usually this is used for amplification of the signal which will be connected to the antenna as well so you have to make the antenna to be very close to the IC on this circuit so the antenna will be as close as possible then we have to move this inductor 220 microhenry inductor away from all these circuits to avoid or minimize interference otherwise it would have interfered with the circuit area. so then we come on to pin 9 pin 9 is obviously the reserve pin and it is built as active load active load means that whenever it's experience low voltage or low voltage source it reset the ic so and it, i connected a switch a temporary switch that can be pulled you know to reset the ic and whenever the power comes up the this capacitor ground the current from the vcc to ground which reset the ic making the ic low then before the ic will be gently turned on and this is recommended by the ic data sheet the after which the vcc after the capacitor has been fully charged, then the VCC can source voltage to the pin 9 in order to keep the IC on. Then we come over to pin 10 and 11. Need um, detailed explanation, then I will come up to that. Then pin 12 and 13 is used as reference clock for the oscillation. So this, this coupling capacitor, which is 2222 picofarad capacitor, will be connected like this um, across the crystal to pin 12 and pin 9 and the rest of the will be connected to the ground then pin 14 is the VCC then pin 15 is the ground then 16 is the audio output then going to the going to the volume control the SI4825 IC have application circuit with internal volume adjustment by pressing once one of these temporary switch and by pressing one you can literally increase the volume, the volume or decrease it, the volume. What actually happens is that when you press the let's say you press the pull up volume, the volume will be pulled up by two decibel. So whenever you press the switch once and release the volume, the output volume will be pulled up by two decibel. Meaning if there are if for if there is 40 micro volt micro volt coming out from the IC 40 micro volt audio signal coming out from the IC peak to peak and you pull up this this will multiply by two and it will be 80 volt 80 micro volt I mean that will be coming from so two decibel means that it will be multiplied by two and the output voltage when you keep pressing it increases or decreases by two decibel and it have a total step of 32 steps meaning you can press it like 32 times before it reaches its maximum or minimum output voltage. At the device power up, 
the IC will put the output volume at some default level according to the push button configuration of the of the circuit built here. It has four default volume level choice that you can play around with depending on the amp uh, amplifier that you'll be working on. The second of my circuit, I use 56 kilo ohm resistor as a pull down resistor. When the, these two resistors are connected to the pin 10 and 11 and they are acting as a pull down resistor, it sets the default to maximum. So there will be maximum volume output from the, from the IC. Pick to pick volume output will be a maximum. It's a micro volt. If you want to lower or increase the volume, this switch toggles the high volume by this one toggles the low volume so when you press this one the volume will increase when you press this one the volume will decrease when you press this one once the volume will increase by two decibel likewise this one but when you press it continuously the volume will run all the way up or down so that is how the volume so the IC comes with an internal volume control but you might as well use an external volume but I'm going to talk about the fault that you might need for this kind of application this we have four default settings so this default setting I will be showing it on the screen and you will see it and the default setting is setting the pin 10 and the 11 to ground so when the device is powered up and the pin 10 and the pin 11 are grounded using this resistor well, it set the IC all the way to the max the volume out of the IC all the way to the max so the application circuit diagram where you set the this pin this switch here when the circuit is connected like this well, this is BCC you set the default volume during power up to maximum of 12 decibel of the total um, volume to 12 decibel but the reverse of this circuit that is the pin 10 will be active low no then pin 11 will be active high will be the opposite which this is where i write it which will make it to be a this will set it to six decibel so the reverse of this circuit that i just explained now will we set it to six decibel the reverse of the previous one the reverse of this one will set it to a maximum of a maximum of 18 decibel that is the reverse of this one the reverse being that the two input will be active high so the switch toggles the IC to low so when the power is up and the P11 and the P10 is actively high this will set the default to 18 decibel but the reverse will set it to maximum which is 32 decibel this is the switch for the IC so during power off, the VCC of this whole circuit will be connected to run via this diode, which discharge every charged component in the circuit. And the reset pin, we wish so this is the reset pin. This will be connected to pin nine of the IC. This will connect the pin nine to ground and shut it down immediately when power down. But when the power up, the reset pin will be left floating. This pin will be left floating, and it's not connected to anything except from this this circuit. Then the VCC will, of this IC will correct the source voltage from the VCC through here. This is this is just basically the switch of the IC, and that is basically it. Hey guys, this is the radio that I made. This is where I select the frequency. This is where I select the band. And this is the battery. The average turn about the shutdown circuit and the power supply is connected over here. This is the speaker. And here is the battery. Here is the two internal volume and that is the external volume at the amplifier stage. And here is the these two internal volume. I use this circuit and this is the reset of this place. So let me let me look inside. So why I screw it? So let's power it up. How can the hour of our death be even? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his own. 
Thank you. 